What's up, guys? It's Amber Scholl with World Monitor TV. And today, I'm having a great time here at the iconic East West Studios in Hollywood. And we are about to talk to the pop icon, Kubaka, about his new summer single, Sex in Rio. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. Kubaka um, at the wow. recording of his summer single, Sex in Rio. That's right. Yes, we're super excited. <laughs> now, Kuba just performed his first primetime special in the U.S., his rockumentary on mm -hmm. E!, part of the New Money series, and he just signed his 360 iHeart radio deal um, with iHeart promoter yeah. Phil Cross. Congratulations on Thanks that, so by so the way. Nice. Fantastic. Now, your first iHeart radio single is Smash, Smash, um, yes. Smash followed by the soon-to-come Son of Zeus promo tour, That's directed right. by Paul Bl Becker, uh -huh. when, yeah. aka the Twilight artistic director, yeah, which is really cool. You know, he has this cinematic approach, so that's what I wanted, to not make a regular tour with like, you know, typical dance steps, mm -hmm. but to bring like a movie to the yeah. stage. So yeah, you that know, should be it. found the right brother to do it with. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, so stay tuned as we bring you all the exclusive behind the scenes here with Kuba today. Um, all right, so first of all, thank you so much for taking all the time out of your busy schedule to chat with us today. Oh, thank you. My pleasure, really. <laughs> it's so much fun to have you here, you know? Oh, well, you just came and wow. <laughs> Such a good energy. Yeah, we're so excited to be here. All right, so can you just tell us, you're obviously recording the summer single, um, yes. Sex in Rio. Can you tell us a little bit about the song? What's it about? What's it mean to you? Absolutely. You know, Sex in Rio is this really wild dance <laughs> party song that is... Actually, you know, with the same uh, music that had this song a long time ago called Samba de Janeiro. So we took that song originally and we wanted to make a cover, but that song didn't have too many words. So we have to, you know, now like reinvent multiple sides of that, that big original. And uh, we wanted to just recall it Sex in Rio. Uh, because, you know, when you think about Rio de Janeiro, it's so sexy. It's like the beautiful girls and the beach and... You know, it's tropical and uh, it's, you know, of course, we're microorchid, wild orchids. So, you know, obviously, um, the, you know, the, the fun part of, of that sexual dreams, you know, and, and very universal. I mean, you know, Brazil stands for such a great value of celebration of life, you know, and I think that's what we wanted to do with the song, with also the music video. We'll also have this very surprising uh, part on Son of Zeus tour with Sex in Rio. So it gives us like a, like a theme, you know, for, for that three minutes. It's gonna be, and you know what? It's coming out at a very opportune time, especially with the Olympics next summer. Right, I know. So, no, I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brazil is awesome. You know, I'm Italian, partly. My mom is Italian, like 100%. So, uh, you know, Italians, Brazilians, it's, it's all together, you know. And I think that it's always a quest for um, that emotion that will connect you with people and that will give you that, that uh, explosion of feelings. And as a performer, you know, that's what I always look for. I, I love to you know, make sometimes very, um, you know, sad songs or like slow songs. But my favorite time is when I can do that tornado, you know, on the stage and in the studio where, you know, we really can grab the people uh, to, to the roof. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And now what made you pick the title of the song, Sex in Rio? Because, I mean, <laughs> you know. <laughs> right, I know. Well, I was thinking about something simple, right? So uh, S E X and uh, R I O, three letters. So that's how it all came together. Just something where people will identify it with, with uh, you know, forget about reality time and, and dream away, escape. Yeah. So go to Rio. <laughs> so can you tell us about working with Phil Cross and how you secured the 360 iHeart deal? Yeah, Phil Cross is amazing. He's this very big pioneer of radio promotion and great DJ, great uh, Z100 host. Z100 is the biggest station in America. So, you know, actually it is my um, very good business partner, Hudson Miller, who met me when I was after my, uh, like, initial steps in America, fighting for anything, you know, like performing in places you don't want to know. <laughs> and, you know, like, like really uh, being, you know, in that, in that uh, hard times of, of 
getting somewhere. So, um, you know, Hudson, he really did see my vision and he was like, well, we have to take you to the radio because, of course, without the radio, you can't do big shows. And, you know, you really want to do arena stadium shows. So, um, yeah, we just met with Phil and uh, he, he really understood the vision. So he wanted to sign me as his artist. And I'm really, really so happy because, you know, radio is one of those things that you never know. It's, it's, it's a very difficult uh, radio play that we have right now because people, you know, they listen to, to uh, very particular artists that are radio friendly. And to get in that circuit is, is you know, every singer's dream. So uh, I must say, you know, it's, it's like uh, meant to be. I was waiting for it some time. And I think I just did well to, you know, when you stay focused and you fight for something you really believe in and nothing can steer you away, that's, that's where things become rewarding after after this very difficult period of time but you have to go through that with all fights to 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 get there so um this is the time i'm just really really happy this is it, man. promo tour how's it going can you give us any spoilers well yeah there will be a lot of explosions actually we Ooh. built this this technology thing i can't say what it is but it's something <laughs> connected to greek mythology that inspires me the most with my you know all artistic visions so um i will kind of be pushed from something up to the sky with like fire behind me and that takes like forever because you know even paul who did olympics i mean las vegas shows he was like you know kubai never did anything like this particularly <laughs> wow. and it's your first tour i said you see that's that's the point it's the first tour and i wanted to surprise people with something like wow is it is it really possible is it magic is it concert is it movie you know and just to change the game a little bit and um so I am now in the like uh, training for the show because there'll be a lot of like stunts and stuff. Wow. So yeah, it's very physical, but um, you know, I just, I love things like, like, you know, the movies 300, Troy, Alexander the Great. So that movie inspired me for the show without knowing that that movie had a huge budget. <laughs> so, you know, my, my promoters are like, Cuba, you'll make us bankrupt. But well, I hope not. <laughs> It will work. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Now, yeah. on um, the topic of money, I hear you were recently featured on E! during their one-hour special about newer millionaires and uh -huh. how they spend all their money. So right. I'm personally fascinated by this. So can you tell <laughs> us about how the show, how it came about? I mean, if I had millions, yeah. I'd, I'd pay my rent. I don't know what I would do. <laughs> well, you know what? It's, it's actually even not that much my money. It's mm -hmm. money of my investors. Yeah. So um, when I start to put the, the whole new chapter in my American mm -hmm. journey uh, with great people involved. Uh, each channel somehow heard about it, some, some I think, you know, music agent told about it to, to TV agent yeah. and that's how it happened. Uh, so they called and they're like, we wanted to make your own documentary and like feature you. And we're like, really? I mean, how, how you discovered this all? But they were very convincing and, uh, you know, it was really fun. Of course, you're never happy with the final results because it's a documentary. So you don't have any say, you don't have the editing approval. That was part of the deal. And you spent with these guys like one month. Yeah. And it was from my house in Las Vegas, this Sky Villa at Westgate that also my investors actually <laughs> secure, not like I have that place. Yeah. But uh, then we had me performing at uh, Avalon Theater with me you know, on the wires in the sky and uh, uh, with chest plate having this fire explosion so it was really wild but of course behind the scenes were very difficult like you know i i got to the accident during the rehearsal for the show and so you know we we're really conscious of the cameras but if you're with somebody for one month you, you really almost take it like um okay here they are but then you know when they edit the thing you're like oh my god they have everything about me they know me better than i do <laughs> so you know uh the, the result was very controversial i mean some people loved it some people really did hate it um actually huffington post compared it to um madonna's true for dare oh. and uh i think also they compared it yeah to to living with michael jackson you know you see madonna when she did true for dare she was already a big star you know and uh that made her next mm -hmm step. Uh, living with Michael Jackson destroyed Michael. Uh, I'm just in front of like starting the career, so I hope it will not kill me. But you know, little danger never kills, like we were talking. So it was that little danger, that perfect amount. And uh, I just don't think I will do any more anything like it. It was that one experience. And now I just wanted to focus on, on music and acting, you know, that's where my heart is the most. And now I got to say, you sound like quite the daredevil with all of these stunts and fire. Yeah, and I am. 
stuns and all sorts of crazy things. So uh, is that like translate into your real life? Uh, it does. Yeah. You know, like my friends and my family and, you know, like uh, when I had my girlfriend lately, uh, nobody can stand me for too long, you know, because <laughs> I, I really like some things like, you know, really adventures and I go rafting, I go surfing, I want to swim with sharks, I want to jump off the plane and so vacation with me is a disaster, <laughs> my family says, because they're like, each time they think I can die, <laughs> because of course they don't do what I do. It's not vacation unless somebody dies. Right, you know, so, so yeah, I think, you know, it's that addiction to, to, to the adrenaline and, and that's why I love the stage, because, you know, on the stage, you really have that that excitement, that that fireworks in you. Of course, if you have interesting show, if it's boring, then no. But <laughs> but you know, I'm not a, a typical singer where I just go and sing. I really want to still sing life, like uh, you know, for for E, I sing life, even being upside down, doing you know, uh, spins to to the heavens. Uh, but um, you know, that's where I think it separates uh, entertainers from, from typical singers. And I definitely consider myself mostly as entertainer. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now also, on the topic of entertaining, your outfit is quite entertaining to me. <laughs> we have so to talk much. about your style. You have an unconditional yeah. love of, quote, Versace outfits. Do tell. Oh, yeah. Versace is my addiction. It's, it's that one drug. I don't do drugs. I don't drink alcohol, but Versace, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, I was this little kid in Milan, right? And I was walking the street and I see this guy, like really, I, I see him, he's a lucky guy. And he had this Versace silk shirt and the gold chain, two girls on his arms. And I was like, wow, this is the style, you know? So later I started to identify Versace with that dream, you know? And they really are the dream. I mean, they really make you feel like this Greek god, you know? You just... You go there and they give you these clothes and um, it's it's different type of fashion because I think that Gianni Versace really, he was more of a rock artist than typical designer, you know. So he did put that whole cinematic approach and he, you know, started to be not afraid of, of different uh, compositions where, you know, it's, it's really wild, it's, it's racy. And now Donatella Versace, she's wonderful. She's just such a great, uh, I call her empress of fashion, you know. <laughs> so it's, it's a love affair, I must say. But uh, it's like um, Versace, they, you know, they by themselves, they're very inspired by mythology. So it's very classical too, you know, and the whole Greek print and everything, you know, the, the all action figures like Hercules. So, you know, you go to Versace, they dress you feel like Hercules, you know, yeah. <laughs> now, also, you refer to yourself as a music action star. Yeah. Explain. Well, you know, I always, I always had this role models like Michael Jackson, Elvis Presley, and then Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone. So it was like, in the beginning, I tried to figure out how to put that together. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I love music and I love performance of it but at the same time I just I love what let's say Arnold would deliver in Terminator that that thrill and that bigger than life uh, heroic um, approach so you know I just you know work on how to do it all together and uh, yeah. now who would you like to collaborate on with upcoming music projects do you have like a dream yeah. collaboration yeah I do and it's crazy. It's like I talk about it all the time with my manager, but it's, you know, I just, I love Madonna. I don't know. It's, it's like I was very little and uh, she was forbidden to me because my parents were like, no, you can't buy her records. She had then like the erotic record. <laughs> so I was like three years old. Yeah. So, you know, when something is forbidden, it, it becomes very interesting. So I was later following her and, and she's for me this, you know, this, this, this goddess of pop, you know, she really has that mystique and I know that some people they criticize her very much but I love even more about her because she doesn't care and she does whatever she wants very wild and uh, you know she she seems like she's 21 so you know that's the real goddess doesn't age. <laughs> well thank you so much for talking to us and of course we wish you all the nothing but success in thank your you. continued Hollywood journey looking thank forward so to the tour and the single and the collaboration with Madonna eventually so. Hopefully right. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. Ciao. So, how cool is that guy? <laughs> I am dying. He even let me play his piano a little bit. I think I'm going to leave the musical talents to Cuba. But um, this guy is the real deal, you guys. Stay tuned for his hit single, soon-to-be-hit single, Sex in Rio. Sex in Rio.